All right, so today we are going to be solving a system of equations in two ways. We're going to use algebra, and we're going to do it by graphing. So here's our system of equations. Notice they're both in slope-intercept form, so they both have y equals. All right, so what we're going to do is use substitution to solve this. So notice in that first equation, because y equals all of this stuff right here, we can actually replace y in this second equation with all of that stuff. Since y equals 3x minus 7, we can rewrite the second equation with 3x minus 7 replacing y. And that's what we call substitution. We're substituting all the things that we know y equals in for y in the second equation. All right, so let's rewrite that second equation. Instead of y equals all this stuff, we're going to write 3x minus 7 equals all of that stuff. And by doing that, notice, we have an algebra equation now that we can solve for x because the only variable in there is x. So I've got x on both sides. I'm going to add 2x to both sides of the equal sign. When I do that, these undo each other. 5x drops down, minus 7 drops down, equals drops down, and 3 drops down. Now I can start undoing the side next to x. I'm going to add 7 to both sides of the equal sign. Sevens undo each other. 5x drops down, equals drops down, and 10 drops down. I'm almost there. Now I just divide both sides by 5, and I should have x by itself. x equals 2. All right, so I've got our x value, but we're not done. Because remember, in a system of equations, we need to know x and we need to know y. Luckily, we have two equations that will allow us to calculate y. y equals this, y equals that. So all we have to do now is take our x value and put it back into one of our original equations. And we can choose. Since they, since they both have y equals, I can choose whichever one I want because I should get the same answer no matter what. So let's go ahead and take our 2 and put it into the first one, since the first equation seems a little bit easier. All right, so instead of y equals 3x minus 7, I'm going to do y equals 3 times instead of x. We just found x. x is 2. So I'm going to replace x with 2 minus 7. And whatever that equals should be our y value. All right, well, 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 minus 7 is negative 1. So our solution to our system would be x is 2, y is negative 1. And I could write it as a coordinate, or I could write it x equals y equals, however. But the main thing is we found our x and y value. All right? So that's the algebra way of solving that system of equations. Notice we could have also solved it using the graph. Because they're both in slope-intercept form, graphing this shouldn't be super hard. y equals 3x minus 7. My y-intercept is negative 7, so I'll plot a point at negative 7 on my y-axis. My slope is 3, so that means up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1. And I'll graph it all the way across the grid. And I'm going to use a ruler because it's kind of important to be accurate when graphing these when we're doing a system of equations because we're going to look for the point of intersection. And if your graph is crooked, it's going to mess you up finding that point of intersection. All right, let's do that second equation now. My y-intercept is 3. My slope is negative 2, so that means down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. I think I found it. Down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. All right, let's finish up that line. And notice, the one place that they're intersecting, right there, that's my solution to my system, the point of intersection, which is 2, negative 1. And notice, that's the exact same answer we found using algebra. All right, so there's two different ways to solve a system of equations when they're both in slope-intercept form. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe. It really helps us out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day, and good luck on your math. I'll see you next time.